So Gambhir, the man on strike. He really gave it everything yesterday, Balagedra. Giving the charge. Lucky for Gambhir. Then carry. Gets off the mark. Glorious hit. He waited for the ball to swing and then presented the full face to the bat. So Sebag gets off the mark with the four. Yes, the late swing uh, was there, but he made the adjustment very quickly. Look at that. Opened uh, the foot just a little bit. That's much better. Dancing down the track, getting the sweetest spot in the bat. First boundary for Gautam Gambhir. Yes, he'd done that in the previous over as well. That time, well, Gedra must have seen him coming because he dropped it short this time. Uh, he made the move a little bit late. He's bowling, knocked him over. Perfect Yorker from Velagedra. And Gautam Gambhir playing across has to pay a huge price. Well, this is the beauty of a delivery. He'd been smashed by Gautam Gambhir a couple of deliveries earlier when he had danced down the pitch. But this one, look at that Yorker. Beautifully bowled. Right in the block hole, as they say, underneath the bat. Taking the leg stump, Velagedra has got his revenge. India have lost their first wicket for 14. Short delivery being spanked away, one bounce into the boundary. Yes, I think there's some thinking in uh, some triggering circles that uh, Virinder Sehwag uh, cannot play the uh, hook shot or the pull shot well. Well, maybe they should have a look at this one. This was a bouncer, and look at the way he's uh, smashed it. Managed to be looked to play a lot straighter, Gambhir. And here's Sevag on the roll. Just a little bit of width is all it required. <laughs> yes, I'll tell you what, it wasn't a bad delivery. Here it is. Might have cramped most batsmen, but not uh, Sevag. Overstepping. Oh, it's through the gap. Should get two at least. He'd like to stay there, Sevag. No, he looks for third. He looks for the third and gets off strike. It's a free hit now. Well, he's giving it to the youngster. But again, it wasn't a bad delivery. Another no ball. And we get a leg by and Sevag will be on strike. No full toss. He's disappointed, Seba, with a single. It's 32 for one. Take that. Again, too short. And asking for trouble. He slashed hard. We get good results in the end. Again, the width. That's been the problem for Lakmal. Another one, this time much better. In front of the square on the offside. Finishes the over with the boundary. It's 46 for one. Down the ground. Just a teaser for the fielder. We'll get to the boundary eventually. Good strike from Virat Kohli, who's joining in the party now. Plenty of force for India. Eighth boundary, and we're only into the seventh over. Another good sign, hitting down the ground. Very good conditions to bat, not too much swing. Slashed. Don't bother running. It's come off the blade of Sevak's bat. And it's reached the boundary like a tracer bullet. And that's an area of strength, uh, one says, but he uh, plays some magnificent shots. Uh, that's again not all that bad a delivery, just a little bit of width. Looks to be a pretty good one today as well. He's got the outside edge, but he's also seeing that. That's why the hands are up on the head. 
No ball again, and that's smash for four. Now this won't please Sangakara one bit. Sevak picking his spot on this occasion, giving himself room, working on the angle. He's definitely having some problem. Look at that shot. It's full of length, just moved away and uh, picked it up on the offside. Four more. That's his fourth no ball. Doesn't time this one. Then uh, the attempted Yorker, Sevak just looking if it was above the waist. Edged and taken by Sangakara. So what an over this is. It has got everything in it. Boundaries, no balls and then a wicket as well. This time it's Virat Kohli. He'll be disappointed with his shot. But a smart catch by the Sri Lankan captain. Finally, well, Agadara getting his act right. And a very good catch from the captain Kumara Sangakara behind the stumps. He will be disappointed. Goes back for nine. India 62 for two. 62 for two. Yuvraj Singh comes out to the center. Now here's Tushara. That's a loser. And it gets the treatment. Don't bowl there to save our. You don't bowl losers, period. Chipped in the air and should be taken. Simple catch. So whilst he's giving runs, he's taking wickets and the dangerous Sevak this time has to depart. So all three wickets that have fallen here have been taken by Velagadera. Sevak getting the leading edge, he's looking at it and just spooning a catch to mid-off. This is good bowling, really good bowling. He was trashed for uh, quite a few runs in the last over. Didn't lose his line and length and just frustrated Sevak with the first three deliveries which were dot ones. Sheva just closing the face of the bat, getting a leading edge and a safe hands of uh, Tiramane. Goes back for 47, India loses a third at 71. Tons of experience, a leading one-day batsman uh, in the world. Nice timing from Dhoni. Just easing it through the offside for his first boundary. Chance of a run out. Tony getting back in time. Misunderstanding. He called for the single. Yuvraj was looking at the ball. Tony just pointing to himself, saying it was my call. You know, sent back by uh, Yuvraj saying, luckily enough, the back throw was not really good enough. I think second with a little bit of help from the duo. That's driven square and that's got him four runs. At last, he's uh, found the meat of the bat and that'll take a lot of the pressure off uh, Yuvraj. It certainly will because this is a very good shot. Played with typical left-handers elegance, opening the face of the bat at the last moment with offered. Uh, not as many as there were in the stadium yesterday. I'm sure it's going to pick up in the afternoon. Enjoying the proceedings, India going at a rate of 6.14 runs per over. Bowling change, Lakmal coming in. Nice little tuck away, just uh, wide of the field over. There's a bit of a fumble, allowing the batsman to comfortably cross over for a single. Now, what has he done? Well, Sri Lanka already have a couple of men in the uh, injury list. Chamara Silva fractured his finger fielding when he jammed his uh, finger in the in the turf. And now, what has uh, Pushpa Kumara done? Has he damaged his shoulder? Yes, I think he's fallen awkwardly on his shoulder. Collected it above his shoulder, he's jumping up. Oh, that's the kind of shot that batsmen normally play to tell the bowler, look, your pace doesn't frighten me. If you bowl shot to me, I'm going to slug you.